I'm Vanessa Von Vila. I'm a research fish biologist with the USGS Alaska Science Center. Alaska is nearly synonymous with wild salmon. We have plentiful, very productive populations of salmon in an era when a lot of other parts of our country have listed their salmon populations under the Endangered Species Act. And typically, we're not so worried about it getting too hot or too dry for them because it is colder here compared to other parts of their range, and we do have a lot of fresh water on our landscape. But we are seeing high rates of heat stress in our studies. And in 2019, there was a particularly warm and dry year. This was a record-breaking drought that lasted the entire calendar year. A lot of people were seeing um, salmon on the way to the spawning grounds that were actually dying trying to get there. It's unusual to see Pacific salmon die at this life history period. We really think of them as being in the home stretch. They've made it through their early life history period, which is when a lot of them die. They've made it through the ocean where there's a lot of different predators. And now they just have to go, you know, from the ocean up into their natal spawning grounds, the, the same stream or river when they, where they were born. Salmon are a huge part of our community, both in terms of our, of our economics, of our food security, of the cultural heritage of a lot of different groups of people, including Alaska Native populations. And so any of these changes to salmon populations can be pretty devastating to communities. On the larger picture of Alaska, we see that salmon will always be a part of the Alaska landscape, but we are concerned about the areas of high and low salmon production will be shifting across the landscape, and they'll likely be shifting more rapidly than we've seen in the past. 